introduce yourself and um, then we'll get into it. Yeah. yeah. I'm Katie Mack and I'm a singer songwriter from Hayden. Awesome. Okay, so how did you get into it all? Um, I don't really know. I kind of I've been playing guitar since I was young, and then when I was in school, I kind of started taking it more seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then about 18 months ago, I got this band together and I moved home back to my mum and dad. <laughs> and then um, now I've just been like touring the UK and carrying on and doing everything myself. Just totally me. So, how are you, how are you finding like being with like a band of boys all of a sudden? Like, how is that transition <laughs> for you? No, the boys are really nice. It's nice. I think um, we all get on really well and we've all been friends for a long time. Yeah. So I definitely think I made the right right choices asking who I did to come and play with me. Um, that's fine. I do, it doesn't really bother me them being boys, as, except for the organisation kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what's been like your? So you've only been doing this for eighteen months so far. What like has band, been like yeah. the highlight of like the past eighteen months for you? Um. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know, I think we really love playing in Scotland. I think we really, really enjoy going up there. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I think it's more because I've kind of, like, I'm doing everything off my own back. So it's like playing Sound City and playing the Alternative Escape and things like that. It just it feels really nice that people are recognising me, even though it's just me doing it. I haven't got, like, one specific thing, but everything just feels really good because it's all coming from hard work and it's slowly paying off. So what, what like sort of influences do you have? Like have your influences like obviously like changed since you were growing up? Like did you ever like listen to like your dad's records and things like that? And where do you take like your sound from now? Um, yeah, I don't know. I think um, there was a lot of people just kind of throwing a lot of music at me as I was growing up. Like or, like all my dad's friends and things have always like told me what to listen to and when to listen to it. I think now I think what I've carried through is like mostly like Joni and then I picked up with Laura Marlin and um, mostly things like that. I listened to Shilpa Ray who's from New York as well and we played it in London a lot. Um, I don't know, I, I, it's hard. I listen to a lot of different things and a lot of different bands and and we play a lot as well so when we're playing we I think <laughs> kind of listening more to live people that you've never heard of than what you get time to actually sit down and listen to these days. So if you could like like work with like anyone like ever who was like your ideal like collaborator be that could be like a producer, it could be like another musician, it could be like like who who would it be? Um that's a really tough question. I've never really thought about things like that because I kind of just try and do everything. All I think about is me. It's really bad, really. <laughs> like it's really selfish. But I think, like, I'd love. To, I think, I think more about who I'd like to support. Like, I'd love to go on a like tour with someone like Laura Marlin or um, it's like people who are still going now. Um, I don't know. I think. I think I'm just trying to do it myself and not have to like consider other people. <laughs> Even though that's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though. So it's like you just like go on with the flow of like your whole like I'm gonna sound hippieish, but like your own journey into all of this, and like it feels like you're just evolving organically. Like is the I I feel like that. Do you think that like reflects in like your songwriting? Like what's your process when you when you make a song? Um, I always used to say that the words came first, but recently it doesn't feel as much like that. Um. I think now because it is like well a full-time job I just sit and play and like see what comes to me like every song still means something like really specific to me but it kind of just comes a bit I've kind of because I don't have to like like I used to do like music Monday where something would have to come on a Monday whereas now because I've just got every day to just sit and play it's a little bit more like guitar and um, singing comes at the same time I just kind of whatever I play feels right for the words that I start to sing, yeah. and then obviously as the band comes later, like that's another, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> if you could like play anywhere, or like even live anywhere, like if you were just like given the option to just like move like to like Amsterdam or something, or like Berlin, like where would your ideal place to be? Like, 
and then you could like do local gigs there. Um, I think the only place that we've ever said that we would seriously move to is like Barcelona. Oh, I think yeah. I know we've had, we've had so many holidays there, but we just really love being there. I think that's I'd probably just stick to that one for now. Nice, nice. So, um, uh, have you got any tour dates coming up? Um, not really at the moment. We're just basically doing festivals. So yeah. I'm at the Alternative Escape next Thursday, um, Sound City the week after, and then we're doing a festival in Brighton on the 19th of August and then we go back to Belgium then at the end of August and that's it for for right now. <laughs> so what what's your current project? You got a single coming out soon? Yeah we've got a single coming out on the 5th of June which isn't very long now just a single yet it's called Into the Wild. Awesome okay so what is the song you're gonna play for Mr. Katie Ravy? That is also Into the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, uh, you say bye from us and we uh, look forward to hearing you perform. Thank you very much, thank you. Thanks.
Oh my god, the way is unbearable. Oh my god, really? <laughs>